Michelle here again, still with the book, still in rambling mode. I'm less tired today. Uh, yesterday I was very tired, as you may have actually noticed, if you actually watched. I I try not to look at my view count for these because it depresses me somewhat. Maybe I should actually try doing the review thing again. That seems to actually get hits. Actually, I was. Adam and I still haven't gone to the cinema yet, obviously. Um, I just texted him earlier and saying, are you up for it? He says, he's not sure. So I'm like, I could do my next review today, but then I don't know if I'm suddenly going, oh, let's go to the thing. So I don't know. Um, but I, you know what? I should do it this week. we do my next review at some point this week. I don't know if we're going to go to the cinema tomorrow. Oh, well, I've got to go some shopping tomorrow. Uh, well, 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 I'll work it out. I'll work it out. But anyway, today is this. In my book, answering my questions, um, waffling at the camera because why not? Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, so should we just dive in and see what today's question is? Oh, this one's got a bit more of an answer to it, so here we go. Uh, what was the happiest moment of your life? What made it so special? Nice question. So many. The f uh, first time I held my nephews, the first time a uh, younger nephew told me he loved me. Unprompted. Uh, London Zoo had a lot of happy moments. I think I talked about that previously. Uh, meeting various famous people was always a moment. Una Stubbs is a... I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read out what I wrote here. Meeting famous celebrities is always a moment. Una Stubbs is a fucking legend. Now I know I try to keep my language down somewhat in these videos, but... I would have started as a fucking legend. <laughs> there you go, today's question. Celebrities. And moments. Um, yeah, so... I mean, yeah, that's a good question. Happiest moments, just... Oh, wow, just just moments. Um, I've made reference to the... Um, having done the Harry Potter tour um, before in some of my videos. And that was just... That was just a whole lot of... Oh, wow. Oh. Um, so yeah, I guess those can be described as happy moments. Look, making me smile. Um, so that whole in the whole day was thing and, and sometimes it was like I would be caught up in the moment and then I'd catch Adam looking at me smiling because he's already seen it all before. Um, especially the finale, which obviously we, we we don't talk about because if you haven't seen it yet and you want to, then you don't want that spoil for you because it's amazing. Um, Friends Fest, that was just a day full of joy. I mean, I've already talked about that as my best day. One of my best days ever, but so many little moments and happiness and joy and sometimes just, I mean, sometimes moments can just be moments. I mean, <laughs> I guess you describe my happiness as just like pure happiness woo, and tangible thing that people can't always achieve or literally you know, does it have to be a big thing or just a little thing? Because I was walking through the park the other day, the other week, I was I was at work, I was doing the bins. Um, but I like walking through the park because I quite like watching all the geese and stuff and, and all the birds. And there was this massive swan, this big old fat swan. It was like, the pond, the, the park has big ponds. I mean, I, I did a, like a bit of a video that kind of had that. But it really is quite a big pond. I might to take a, do a quick video when I'm just on my own, not working, um, walking around it to give you an idea of how big it is. But yeah, it, it's significant. There's a a lot of fowl on it. I think easily a good couple of hundred. I don't I haven't counted, but easily it comfortably fits a lot of ducks. I mean, at the moment we still got the Canadian geese, so we're talking ducks, swans, um, Canadian geese. There's a few gulls that are coming around and they're all sitting comfortably on this and not bumping into each other. So a big enough body of water. I don't know volume, I don't know, you know, size, but it's, you know, people are, you know, the, the birds are living on there quite comfortably together. This big fat swan was just stood in this dirty mud puddle. It was about, you know, maybe a yay big and however deep, probably about that much. And it was just in it, it just paddling around in his, in his puddle and um, I did shoot some video of that actually oh, I, I've uploaded it from my phone I can probably upload it to the computer 
Maybe we should put that back. I don't know. Maybe I should have kept that one before deleting everything. But I needed something for space. But yeah, so um, watching this um, big fat uh, swan kind of strutting around a little bit and just being king of his puddle, uh, that made me happy for silly reasons. Um, so that's that. Meeting, meeting celebrities is always fun. Um, I, I mentioned Una Stubbs and she is an absolute She was so delightful. She like came up everyone shook everyone's hand, asked, asked everyone where they're from and every, taking some interest in their lives and that was that was pure 100% class without being told this person's like that was if you didn't know what class was, if you'd never been um, introduced to the concept of class there you go, that that was it welcome to class, this is it without knowing the word, that is it um, she was amazing and so diddy, so diddy I'm sitting down, you know, just so diddy. It's so very sweet and and um yes, I met her at the Sherlock convention, which means I was, you know, meeting her under um, her role as as Mrs you know, as Hudders. Um but it was also Aunt Sally. It was and I said that to someone I, I bumped into in the queue. I was like, I just met Aunt Sally and she goes, Yeah, my boyfriend was the same. So um yeah, that was very cool. Um Every time I've met um, Eddie Izzard has always been a very cool moment. Um, I've, I've talked about meeting Peter Davison. Um, that was very cool. Actually, I, I want to say meeting Eddie it was happy because it, it was, he was fun, but it was such a big sort of in and out rush queue, more than some of the other people would feel. The, yes, it was happy, it's cool, and it's, you know, I've got the photo, I'll treasure it forever, but I said I was going to show you that, didn't I? Yeah. Um, it's still kind of like too quick to fully process but it was cool it was cool I got to you know put my arm around give it a little squeeze um, I actually I want I want to because looking through on the website where they upload all the pictures he did have a cold and you could sort of tell that especially during his interview before she was a bit a little, little bit under the weather and some people have bitched about it so oh, you know, miserable and all this stuff um, if you look through all the pictures, my, my one's for the few ones where he's actually smiling and I think it's because I tickled him just as the camera went and not like tickle tickle but like my fingers sort of kind of flexed so it probably did tickle him a little bit so I made him happy, maybe <laughs> so um, but yeah, something celebrities is always fun uh, you've got the right ones uh, Lou Braley um, is insane and she kept she kept tidying up the queue like people need to be together and she was hugging everyone over the table when um, doing the autographs and everything um, so that was cool. Um, like London Zoo um, had so many cool little moments. Like um, I think I've talked before about like, spending way too much time on Penguin Beach. Penguin. Um, damn it, Ben. <laughs> um, you know, so seeing all the animals, um, having someone come up to you and, and just playing with them. I, I am someone who does try to live in the moment. Not like. Not like I'm constantly looking for adventure and going out and, um, and doing stuff. I mean, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not unwilling to go out and try new things, obviously, but I'm not constantly seeking them out. You know, if if give me an opportunity and I'll probably go, oh yeah, that sounds like fun. I'll, I'll, I'll go do that. Um, but I don't necessarily look them up for myself. But that being said, a cool moment is a cool moment. A happy moment is a happy moment, and I I, I try to let myself just. You know, be in the moment that I'm in and experience whatever the emotion is. So for me, a happy moment could just be meeting a new dog and saying hello. I met a really, oh, such a fluffy one yesterday. yesterday. It was so sweet and the owner was really nice as well. And then I met sort of a little, little one, cuter, you know, like a terrier, which was all, she was also very pretty, but she had terrier first. So she was a little bit more coarse, but fluffy, oh, so fluffy. Like my slippers, my slippers are fluffy. Um, so yeah, just um. Okay, so get into the secret of happiness. Be in the moment. Just allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling and not try and repress it or anything. Um, yeah. If I find that I know where the goose video is. Sorry, this one. I might upload that as a um. I can't actually upload it directly from, of course I deleted all my videos, um, I, I backed them up on my computer but I deleted it from my phone which is how I'm uploading everything sort of nice and quick. Um, if I if I upload that I'll um, do it as a, um, you know, not on the timeline but I'll just put a link to it below um, so you can see Mr Swan being old king of his paddle. Um, but yeah, uh, 
I thought, yeah, there are moments where you can say, oh wow, that was a really happy moment, that was a really cool moment, that was a great moment. Um, but honestly, any moment could be a happy moment if you, you know, if you allow yourself to feel the emotions. And yes, I kind of glossed over it, but meeting my nephews for the first time was amazing. But that's kind of such a transcendent thing that you can't really talk about it. But yeah, a little one telling me that he loved me without being told first was, that was pretty special. So yeah, um, happiness is wherever you find it. And some of my happiest moments are somewhat silly, but I don't care because they were happy. They made me happy. They made me smile. Anything that makes you smile, anything that makes you happy, you do you. Be your own thing. Um, so there we go. That's. I could carry on and, and ramble on about ages about, you know, hey, be happy, be you, be, do, do the thing, allow yourself to feel the moments, and that's all good and true points, but it does got to get repetitive. So, yeah, happiest moments are when you're in the moment. Um, but, yeah, meeting my nephews, um, little until he loves me, the various celebrities met, sort of seeing animals up close that I've already seen in pictures, Mr. Mr. Swan just being awesome. Happiness is where you find it. All right, cool. Um, so if you can follow me on Twitter here, the paper's getting really scruffy. I know I might have to make a new one. Oh, Tumblr is here. Um, do like, share, subscribe, um, comment. Tell me your happy moments. I, and you know what? If you talk, if you, it doesn't matter. If you somehow found me later on and you're watching this in the future, cool. I'll still, I'll still be happy to see you see your moments and everything. So that's, yeah, do that. Um, pretty much it without going into a loop that is pretty much all I've got to say today so I've been Michelle you've been listening and I will got that round the wrong way you've been listening I've been Michelle I will see you tomorrow bye